I teach animation and model making to children and I'm going to teach you today about how to make um, plasticine figures that you could use in your animations. If you've ever used plasticine you might find that it can be really, it's a brilliant thing to use but it can be really frustrating to make it stand up. So today we're going to look at how to make an armature which is a wire skeleton for your model so that you can create a person that can stand up and that you can use to make yourself some films. To make your person, you're going to need some thin wire that you can use for the armature. I tend to use just garden wire and if you can get it one millimetre thick, that's quite a good thickness. You're going to need um, some cocktail sticks for adding little details, a bit of masking tape if you've got it and some wire cutters. And then of course, you're also going to need some plasticine. First thing we're going to look at is how to make the armature out of the wire. You're going to need to cut yourself some wire. It's not crucial the exact length, but I found more or less a good length to have is about 35 centimeters for the main body and about 15 centimeters for the arms. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to start making, imagine the top of the wire is the top of the head and we're going down to the bottom of the foot. That's going to be about 10 centimeters down. You're going to bend to make a foot and bend your wire round and bring it back up. So your wire should look a little bit like this. I've just got one foot at the moment. Now we're gonna be working with the longer piece of wire, the short piece that goes to the top of the head. This is the longer piece, we're bending it in half, bending it down, creating another foot, level with the first one, and then bringing the wire back up. This bit where we make the armature can feel quite tricky, so it might be a good idea to pause on the different photos and to use them to really help make sure that you know what you're doing. Next thing to do is to twist the piece of wire around to secure the two parts of the body together. And we're ready to add some arms. This is where you're gonna need your second shorter piece of wire. Put it behind the body and you're going to just twist it once around the wire of the body and that'll make the arms. You'll find they're a bit wibbly, but don't worry, we're going to use some masking tape to hold them in place. So get your masking tape, tear yourself off a small bit, and you might find it's quite wide. I tear it lengthways as well to get a thin amount, and then I wrap it around the body to hold the arms in place. Finally, what you need to do is to add some masking tape around the legs to hold them together. This stops the wire from separating out and it also gives something for the plasticine to stick to. And there you go, you finished your armature, you're ready to add some plasticine. Now you might find that your plasticine is really hard and quite difficult to make anything with. If that's the case, a good tip is to sit it on top of a hot water bottle and the heat from the hot water bottle will soften it. It really doesn't take long, five minutes or so and your plasticine is going to be ready to work with. So now you've got your armature, you're ready to add the plasticine. It's lovely and soft from sitting on the hot water bottle. And you can squish it out and start making the legs. It's a good idea to flatten the plasticine out, a bit like you were sort of wrapping some cloth around the legs. So make it nice and flat and push it round the wire to make the leg of your person. So there you go, my character has now got two blue legs. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about their arms. Now we're ready to do the arms. My character's wearing a brown coat, so I'm going to do a brown arm. And just like with the legs, I'm going to press it flat. I'm going to wrap it around the wire to make the arm. If you leave a little bit of wire sticking out at the end of the arm, that's really handy for when it comes to attaching the hands. And then you do exactly the same on the other side. We've got two arms and we're ready now to add a bit more to the person's body. And then you need to add a bit more plasticine to start building up the body of your person, smoothing it together as you go along so that things are joined on nicely. And then you're ready to think about what you're going to do next, what sort of clothes you're gonna add over the top. So here you go, this is gonna be the front of my coat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a knife to cut it to size, it's an old knife I keep for plasticine. And um, I've just got an old cardboard box here that had some biscuits in it that I'm going to use to cut on. So 
So there you go, there's the front of the coat now. And now all I've got to do with this coat is add another piece on the back. Next job is to make a head for my person. So I've rolled myself some plasticine here to be the head. And I then need to think about eyes and nose and mouth and hair and ears and all those things and to add them on. When you're doing small detail work, what can be really useful is a cocktail stick for making eyes and things. I find it quite useful to work on the head um, separately from the body rather than when it's stuck on. It's doing some nostrils for her there. And I could make eyes by just poking holes, but I always think it's nicer to make little eyeballs with white and black. So here you are, look, she's got some eyes. And I tend to think once your character's got some eyes, you know who they are, they start to come to life. So it's always good to get the eyes on. Now I could use um, red to make the lips, that would be fine, but I've just sort of cut a little mouth on this because I quite like the look that that gives. And I can fit her head onto her body using the wire that's sticking out at the top. And if I don't attach them, I'm gonna be able to move that head. When I want to animate her, the head should move around. So I've added some hair on just by flattening some plasticine out and putting it on. There's lots of different ways you could do it. And I'm gonna add a bit of texture with my cocktail stick. Add some sort of hairy texture into her. So all that rela remains now for my character is to give her some hands and some feet. And also lots of finishing touches. I might want to add on some pockets, some buttons, things like that. And there we go. She's got some feet now. Now for the moment of truth. Will she stand up? Now, it can be tricky to get your characters to stand up. And what I find is she's tipping backwards. So a really good tip is if you think about shoes, they often have a little heel at the back, not like a stiletto heel or anything like that, but just the structure of the shoe is to just add a little bit extra to the back of her shoes to help her to stand up. So we're gonna see if that works. It's often trial and error, but there we go. So it's a good moment to decide if there's anything else you want to add. You might wanna add some details to your shoes. You might want to add any accessories, a bag, a scarf, a hat, anything like that. So here she is, my finished person. Now, when I want to animate her, she's going to be able to turn her head a bit. She's going to be able to move her arms and legs carefully. What you have to bear in mind is that plasticine will get squished a bit as you do that. Don't worry too much. And have things like spare eyes in, in hand so that if her eyes fall off, you can just replace them. That's easy enough to do. So now we're ready to see her come to life. 